Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that combines science, history, and safety, lightning rods. You may have seen them perched atop tall buildings, church steeples, and other structures, but have you ever wondered why they are there and how they work? Lightning is a powerful and unpredictable force of nature, and when it strikes, it can cause immense damage. In this video, we'll explore the reasons buildings have lightning rods, the science behind them, and their historical significance. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. To understand why buildings have lightning rods, we first need to grasp what a lightning rod is. Essentially, a lightning rod is a metal rod or conductor that is installed on the highest point of a building. Its primary function is to protect the structure from lightning strikes by providing a safe pathway for the electrical charge to travel. When lightning strikes, it seeks the easiest route to the ground. The lightning rod directs the electric current safely down into the earth preventing it from passing through the building itself, which could result in fires, structural damage, or even injuries to occupants. The lightning rod is typically made of conductive materials, such as copper or aluminum, and is connected to a grounding system that disperses the electrical energy safely into the ground. This ensures that the building is protected from the dangerous effects of a lightning strike, in many cases, lightning rods are part of a broader lightning protection system, which includes various components designed to minimize the risk of lightning damage. The story of lightning rods dates back to the 18th century, with one of the most notable figures being Benjamin Franklin. Franklin's interest in electricity and meteorology led him to conduct experiments that revealed the electrical nature of lightning. In 1752, he famously flew a kite during a thunderstorm to demonstrate that lightning is indeed a form of electricity. This experiment laid the groundwork for the development of the lightning rod. Franklin proposed the idea of using a pointed metal rod to attract lightning and safely direct it to the ground. He believed that by installing these rods on buildings, it would be possible to protect them from the devastating effects of lightning strikes. Franklin's invention was met with skepticism at first, but over time, it gained acceptance as more people recognized the importance of lightning protection, especially for tall structures like churches, masts, and lighthouses. Now that we have a bit of historical context, let's delve into the science behind how lightning rods work. Lightning is a discharge of electricity that occurs when there is an imbalance between positive and negative charges in the atmosphere. As a storm develops, charged particles accumulate within clouds, creating a powerful electric field. When the electric field becomes strong enough, it can produce a lightning strike. When lightning approaches a building, the presence of a lightning rod creates an electrically conductive pathway. The rod generates an upward leader, a channel of ionized air, which extends toward the descending lightning channel. This is crucial because lightning tends to strike the highest object in an area. By installing a lightning rod, we increase the likelihood that the lightning will follow the path of least resistance into the rod rather than hitting the building directly. Once the lightning hits the rod, the electrical energy is safely channeled down the conductor and into the grounding system. The grounding system is vital because it disperses the electrical energy over a large area of earth, minimizing the risk of damage to the building and its occupants. Without a lightning rod, the energy could follow other paths, potentially igniting fires, damaging electrical systems, or even causing structural collapse. In modern architecture, lightning rods are an essential safety feature, particularly in tall buildings, skyscrapers, and structures with unique designs. As cities grow taller and more complex, the risk of lightning strikes increases. 
Installing a lightning rod is not just a precaution. It's a necessary measure to protect investments, preserve human life, and maintain structural integrity. For instance, some of the tallest buildings in the world, such as the Empire State Building and the Burj Khalifa, are equipped with sophisticated lightning protection systems. These systems not only include lightning rods, but also intricate networks of conductors and grounding systems designed to handle the immense electrical charge that can accompany a lightning strike. The significance of these systems cannot be overstated. They play a vital role in ensuring the safety of the building and its occupants. Additionally, the presence of a lightning rod can also be a requirement by building codes in certain regions, especially in areas prone to severe thunderstorms. Compliance with these codes ensures that structures meet safety standards and are adequately protected against the hazards of lightning. Despite their importance, there are several myths and misconceptions surrounding lightning rods. One common myth is that having a lightning rod on a building increases the chances of being struck by lightning. In reality, lightning rods do not attract lightning. Rather, they provide a safe path for lightning to follow if it does strike. It's essential to dispel these myths to better understand the role of lightning rods in building safety. Another misconception is that all lightning rods are created equal. In truth, the effectiveness of a lightning protection system depends on its design, installation, and maintenance. Properly installed and well-maintained systems are crucial to ensuring maximum protection. Regular inspections and adherence to safety standards can help ensure that the lightning protection system remains effective over time. Lightning rods play a crucial role in protecting buildings from the potentially devastating effects of lightning strikes. By providing a safe pathway for electrical discharges, they help prevent fires, structural damage, and injuries. The history of lightning rods, rooted in the pioneering work of Benjamin Franklin, highlights the importance of understanding and harnessing the power of nature for safety. As we continue to construct taller and more complex structures, the significance of lightning protection systems cannot be overlooked. So, the next time you see a lightning rod atop a building, you'll know it's there for a very good reason. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.